My name is Patty Fuller. I'm one of the members of Fuller Sugar House LLC. Uh, we started sugaring over uh, 40 years ago, but actually opened up the gift shop just about 15 years ago here in downtown Lancaster. We started with the gift shop basically with me running it and uh, very, very little income just trying to make do with it, going from being farmers markets participants to having an actual store. Um, as things progressed over the next few years, we got to a point where we were wondering, should we expand, should we stay the way we were? We needed to make a number of decisions. Uh, the New Hampshire Grand Program came along and part of their option was to have Roger come in and take a look at the business to critique us. But we found that having somebody else's eyes looking at our business, giving us an opinion that was not a Coas County opinion, uh, was really very important. Uh, it gave us a different set of eyes to see were we doing things that we needed to, what could we do to increase business, and what was the best options to go from here. And, um, and it was very comfortable actually. Um, it gave us a lot of different things that we could change, doing either a little at a time or um, actually deciding to invest and to increase the business. We started by um, just shelf labeling made a big difference. Um, doing the outside decorating with um, a drawing card of flowers and things um, and then actually putting on an addition to be able to increase the work area that we had to be able to uh, be much more productive and beneficial. I think New Hampshire Grand is probably one of the most important um, options that we have at this point. We, we find that through New Hampshire Grand we have had contacts not only to the Grand Hotels, which we do do a number of businesses with right now as far as our maple products are concerned, but we have found ourselves in our travels that we can almost pick out stores um, and or other businesses that are part of New Hampshire Grand just from the way they have taken a big interest in improving themselves. Um, I think that having the opinions of others, the free um, programs that come in through the grant to make it beneficial for us to look at ourselves personally as far as the growth of the business and what to do to improve that is something that you don't get from just anyone. I think the grant is working wonderfully to not only promote this area, but to encourage us to promote ourselves. Hi, I'm Karen Tolan. I am the co-owner of Muddy Paw Sled Dog Kennel in Raft, New Hampshire, and we are here at my kennel in Jefferson, New Hampshire. We started Muddy Paw Sled Dog Kennel seven years ago and Raft, New Hampshire two years ago. Uh, we started noticing that our dogs and our mushers needed something to do in the summer, so we started whitewater rafting. Working with New Hampshire Grand is giving me access to PR and relations with social media and the public that I wouldn't have as my own company by myself. So having someone out there representing us as an area is huge. Um, we've had fam tours, we've had reporters from the Boston Globe, from um, to bloggers, to family forums that have come up here specifically because they've heard about the North Country through um, the PR that New Hampshire Grand does. It really does a lot for me that I can't do on my own. Um, as a small business owner, I wear a lot of hats. I actually hold another full-time job outside of my tourism-based business um, in a local school just to kind of make ends meet up here. So. Learning about marketing on my own, I do the best I can, but I found that people with the experience through New Hampshire Grand can do things that I can't. They have a lot um, more experience, more reach, um, and they're marketing for a whole region, so we all benefit. Um, I've noticed the awareness of our area as a whole grow when my guests come up and say, I had no idea what there was to do up here. It's been amazing to watch the growth of our business. I don't, I don't, I can't put an explanation on it except for the impact that New Hampshire Grand has had. Our first season, um, we made a goal and um, we hit 550 guests. And then this season for rafting, we actually hit 1,500, which caused us to have to buy a school bus and five more boats, which is a great problem to have. Um, but it was unexpected, and I think it really is due to all that exposure. We've also been able to hire some full-time employees with benefits that I never would have thought that was going to happen this soon in this organization. One of my biggest fears right now, actually, is for New Hampshire Grand to go away. Um, there is such a need for it to continue because it's just really starting. These effects that I've described 
Um, they're still growing, they're still happening. And I have a feeling if it continues on and New Hampshire Grand grows, just like our businesses up here have grown, it's just going to make the region stronger and more of the small businesses will hire more employees and it's going to help the economy and the region as a whole.